guys, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm doing 25 bookish facts about me. This is like a tag video that's going around YouTube, and I wasn't specifically tagged, and I forgot to look up who originated this before I started doing it. So I will find that and put that in the description if you want to know. Sorry, I dropped the ball. Anyway, these are just bookish things about me. <laughs> My first fact is that I don't really like poetry, unless it is Shakespeare sonnets or it's Edgar Allan Poe. I don't know why those two, but like other poems I try to read, it, it's not that I can't understand them, it's just that I don't really enjoy it. There's something about the way that poems tend to be formatted that I just I can't deal with. I don't know. I'm fine with drama where things are like broken up, but like, I put it in a poem format and for some reason that loses my interest. I don't know. Um... Two is that I hated Pride and Prejudice the first time I read it. I read it in middle school and it took me a while to figure out that the reason why I hated Pride and Prejudice is because I am most like Darcy and they are not nice to Darcy. So it wasn't until I could, I could, I figured that out watching one of the movies that like, oh, they're mean to Darcy, that's why I don't like this, that I actually was able to go back and enjoy the book. And now it is one of my favorite books. I don't like Lord of the Rings. I tried to read Fellowship of the Rings. I couldn't even finish that book, but I still own all of them, including The Hobbit, because it's like classic science fiction and because they were presents. But I don't ever intend on reading them. And I also do not ever intend to read the Hunger Games books. This does not appeal to me, like watching children fight to the death for amusement. I know that's like a bribe product of like this really corrupt government or stuff, but I just don't like the premise of that book so I will never read it. I've watched the first movie and I'm still not even like sure I want to watch the rest of the movies. That is not my thing. Um, I have this series of books from the 60s called the Tom Swift Jr. books um, and they were my mom and uncle's books when they were younger. I got them when my grandmother died and they've been sitting in my collection for about eight years and I haven't read any of them even though there's like 28 of them and I keep meaning to read them they're children's books it shouldn't take that long but for some reason I keep putting it off and haven't read any of them I did not want to read the Harry Potter books the first time I was told to I thought they were too childish and now I am obsessed with them and think they are my favorite favorite book series. I used to be obsessed or like preoccupied with what would happen if I died before the last Harry Potter book came out. Like I would be worried I wouldn't know how the series ended and also like thinking about the afterlife like would you get to read the Harry Potter books in heaven? Is there an afterlife? Like if I died and there's no afterlife would I just not ever know what happened in the Harry Potter books? When Deathly Hallows did come out I read that book in 24 hours and I am super proud of that even though I have read bigger books since in shorter amounts of time. But for some reason, that book. I think it's because I literally stopped and didn't do anything but read Harry Potter in that time frame. Like, I slept for, I think, two hours and ate while reading. I even cooked while reading that book. And Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows is the only book that I've ever gone to a midnight release for. Because I am that dedicated to Harry Potter. And I got to the last book and I'm like, oh, I should do this before I can't anymore. My favorite book format is mass market paperbacks. They are smaller, they are lighter, they are easier to carry around and like do weird things like laying on my back and holding the book up. Like that's easier to do with a mass market paperback. Um, but I have recently started buying hardcovers when I can find them because I think mostly because of booktube. Like they look prettier on the shelves. And I take the dust jacket off the books when I can and it really annoys me when I get a book from the library and they tape it on and it does this thing where it like flops about but you can't take it off because it's taped so like that annoys me the book I'm showing you guys like not being able to take the dust jacket off a library book really freaks me out I did not start reading comics or audiobooks until I started working in the library and then I I am now obsessed with comics and routinely listen to audiobooks. Like when I get a play, I will act it out as I read it. So I will like literally get up and walk around the room pretending like I'm that character, like working on the blocking and stuff. 
I was actually in a performance. I don't know why I do this, but I do. And sometimes I will read aloud to the cat. Like the cat will come over while I'm reading and I'll just start reading to him when he's super freaking out. Um, like at Christmas, he was totally freaking out because my sister's dog was here. And I started reading a lot to him to calm him down. One of my lifetime goals was to own a library, like a room in my house that was perfect, that was specifically dedicated to books. And I now have that. So check on one of my life goals. And another one of my life goals is to write and publish a book. Not sure if I'm ever going to do that one, but hey, I got one of them done. When I was in middle school, I was reading The Hunchback of Notre Dame. It was like fifth grade and we had to do a book report and I argued with my teacher that I should be allowed to finish The Hunchback of Notre Dame because I was halfway through it and be able to use that because I was so into this book that I didn't want to put it down. And she's like, no, that's not an age appropriate book for a fifth grader. So I went home and got a note from my parents saying that it was okay that I was reading this book and that I could use it for a school project. And I am, I look back at that and I'm like, I am such a nerd, such a nerd. But I was super proud that I finished that book and that I was told I couldn't read it. Um, as a kid, I used to get told to go outside and play because I spend so much time inside either reading or watching movies. So I would just take my book outside and just read outside because my parents didn't really pay that much attention once we were outside. I have two entire shelves in my library that are just Doctor Who materials, um, including this one right here. Just Doctor Who books and Doctor Who magazines. So I really love Doctor Who, guys. My most owned author is Shakespeare, and I have almost a shelf of just Shakespearean plays. And I own roughly 950 books, magazines, and comics all together. They reside on six different bookcases. I learned how to walk and read at the same time. Like this is a goal. This is a skill that I specifically cultivated being able to do because of watching Beauty and the Beast as a child. That Belle could do this. I want to do it too. So that is something that I worked on and practiced being able to do. And uh, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie because of the library in there and because Belle is such a bookworm. And I have worn out three books that I still keep even though I have purchased newer copies of these books but that I keep them because it's like I don't know. I've tried to like throw them out and try to like do crafts with them. I just can't bring myself to do it. So the books that I have completely worn out are Treasure Island, Hamlet, and The Hound of the Baskervilles. Um, Hound of the Baskervilles was pretty old to begin with, but like Hamlet and Treasure Island are specifically because I have read them so many times that it's wore the books out. They're like falling apart. The covers are missing. I use packing tape to tape over the ends of it so it is like has a cover and I am such a nerd that I keep them. Anyway, there are my 25 bookish facts. Let me know in the comments below what are some bookish things about you or if you do this video, post the link down below and I would love to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.